Hello my friends, welcome back to A Common Touch of Fantasy, my name is Paul. Today we are going to talk about the third novella in the Tenzerit series, The Scent of Monsters by J.Y. Yang. This was good. It is so different than the other two though, like extremely different. It's almost experimental in how different it is. The first book is a very epic fantasy that goes through many years. The second book is very self-contained and it happens within a few days but it's a, very much a character focus on Okoyo. This one however is written through journal entries and letters and the person telling the story is someone that has yet to be uh, introduced into this world. It's an investigator called Shuan and uh, Shuan does meet uh, Akia and Ryder, but does not meet Makoyo. It's a story about what happened at a research facility. At this research facility, the account is that everyone died. There are bones everywhere. There are corpses everywhere. There are like dead animals. Everyone looks like it has been attacked by a beast and. Uh, Shuwan has to investigate to figure out what happened here and so she is gathering all the evidence and all the accounts of the story and uh, there were two prisoners at this research facility one was called Ryder the other one was Akia the known terrorist and so she's just investigating and then she ends up meeting Ryder and uh, learning more about what actually happened at this facility and um, it's fantastic I thought it was good so different from the other two though uh, not quite as good as the other two but it was still very good it's very experimental in uh, form and how it tells the story and I thought that was really interesting I never would have thought that, sh that uh, they would have written a they would have written a book in this world that was kind of like this so it really surprised me that they wrote something like this um, I thought it was fantastic check it out The Descent of Monsters by J.Y. Yang thanks for watching guys I will see you guys in my next video please add me on your Instagram or your Twitter or on your Goodreads thanks for watching